Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. So, this is what you need to do to be eligible to travel to Korea. So, quick disclaimer, make sure you check resources yourself, find the information yourself. This is more of just like, this is what I did when I traveled to Korea in 2024. It was literally like two weeks ago. And this is what the requirements were for me, and they let me travel. So, let's get right into the video. There's really just three things that you need. It's a valid passport that won't expire during your trip. The K-E-T-A, K -E -T -A. it's a form that you need to fill out. Some nationalities actually don't have to during 2024. And I'm Canadian, and technically I didn't have to, but I still did it anyway. And when I was at immigration, they took my form anyway. So they didn't take my uh, landing card for some reason, but they did take my Kayetta. Like when I handed them the Kayetta, they didn't need my landing card. So I guess for me that was a replacement in a way, I'm not sure. But anyway, there's also a Q code which you apparently do not need right now, but when I landed they were asking for a QR code and that's the code that I scanned and they said you're okay, you're all good. So I think that you should probably just do the Q code anyway, just in case. Having more documentation did not seem to hurt. And realistically, I technically didn't need either, and I ended up using both. So it was kind of weird. So just make sure you have the Kayetta, which you have to pay like nine, nine American dollars for, unfortunately. And then the QR code, which is free. And then just make sure you have a valid passport. And depending on which country you come from, make sure to look at any additional requirements. If you're Canadian or American, you can literally just show up. And if you have your Kayata and your QR code, then you're fine to go in, and that's literally all it is. So again, quick disclaimer, make sure you check yourself. This is just what the requirements were for me personally when I entered. It may be different for everyone depending on the country they come from, and of course, you should just check the government website, the Korean government website, you should check your government's website and see what they have to say about traveling to Korea at the specific time that you're traveling. But when I personally went, this was everything that I needed to have, and this is what let me successfully travel Korea. Okay, so this is the k -Eta website, so I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm going to put a link in the description for the QR code as well. You can also just find the website yourself, but I'm putting it there for convenience. So all you have to do is apply for Kayeta. You create new application. This is what it looks like. You just fill out all the information. And once you're done, it might take like a business day. Like I don't remember how long they said it may take, but for me it took like literally a few hours and it was done. And then you just go to check Kayeta results, and I believe you just use your passport number or something. Go to continue existing application. And then you just fill in your passport number and your date of birth to check your results. Now for the Q code, again, I'll have a link in the description, but again, you can just find it yourself as well. There's a language button here, Hangoko. You can just click English. Now it tells you what to do, but you pretty much click the ent quarantine before entry. You can only do this within like 72 hours of your trip, and then you basically fill in all the information, and you'll immediately get the code after completing this. So again, maybe this one's not really required anymore, but when I attend, but when I traveled, they were asking for a QR code, and I scanned it in, and they let me through. So. They didn't need it, but they needed it, I guess. So maybe just do it anyway. It takes like five minutes. So hopefully this video is helpful. I'm going to have another video about what you should actually know when you're in Korea. This is more just the paperwork that it took to be allowed to travel around Korea. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.